What is up? I'm Warner Turtle, and today we have the new set, Paldea Evolved, and we are going to be cracking open a box for ourselves. And um, yeah, I feel like nothing really popped out to me in this set. Obviously, there's a lot of cool alt, alt arts to pick up. Um, I feel like maybe the next set, Obsidian Flame. Although some of the <laughs> like has like a Charizard card, but it looks a little a little crazy. But um, either way, let's get into it. Taking a look at TCG player, looks like there's a Iono card that's pretty sought after, and then a Qian Pao EX, which I took a look. I think it's like the the long polar bear Pokemon. Uh, but this should be pretty cool. I think they have alt art of all the starters, uh, so that's probably what I'm gonna be going after. Oh, this must be the. Um, the long polar bear Pokemon with some pretty gnarly looking teeth. So here we go into our first pack of the new set. Uh, yes, we got the new borders. And uh, we'll probably try to go pretty quick. All right, starting off with a Luxray into, oh wait, okay. So I never really figured this out. So sometimes you get two reverses into your rare hits. And we're starting off with a Annihilate. So is that fighting, is that like dark? Dark fighting uh, version of Primate? very nice start to the opening let's just take a look at the back unlikely we would grade this i feel like there's a nick down there you know i feel like it's pretty good um i can't imagine this would go to psa but uh, we'll put it in one of these sleeves so we can look at it after <clears throat> so yeah let me know in the comments what is your thought of this new set i think i'm more excited for the upcoming one and it's good to be able to take breaks every once in a while all these sets can do damage to the wall. We're going to go through this whole pack. Murkrow, just to take a look at the art. Previous Sneasel. Eskew. Oh, never really understood this Pokemon. There's the Iono. So I guess we're looking for the alt art version of her. To, all right, so we got Great Ball again. Sneasel into Boss's Order. So this is new. I, I played through, um, what's his name? Getsis? I, I, oh wait. All right, then it's the end. I did play through Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> I don't remember. I feel like the all the trainers and the, like all the NPCs were very unmemorable. Uh, so I don't remember like any of the trainers. Glimmit. Mm -hmm. This guy's pretty cute. Spir Sprigatito. There's that starter. Our Bombardier. Ooh, Pyro. This looks pretty cool. Superior Energy Retrieval. And then Obama Snow. So yeah, I feel like um, when I was taking a look at the pre-order prices, so yeah, the Iono is at the top. I thought there was like another uh, female supporter that would have been pretty expensive. Maybe it's the Dendra? Again, I don't remember any of the uh, gym leaders and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, obviously we're in this like new era of, you know, new alt arts, which I very much like, uh, follow along with the the waifu era of, of the Pokemon uh, TCG, which I don't know, I feel like just kind of for me came out of nowhere. Uh, then like all these like older cards, full arts, they're just prices really going up, especially on the Japanese side. Maybe it's more of like a Japanese uh, culture thing. All right, there's that Dendra that I believe I've seen the alt art. All right, our artisan, luminous energy into Oricorio. So I did watch some videos and it did seem like the hit ratio is still pretty high on this set, although we are starting off pretty slow. There's a Mankey, I do like that art. Daily Bird, like that one too. Ooh, Pal Paldean Tauros, that's a cool looking Tauros. Practice Studio, second form of the cat. Into a couple reverses, into a jump pluff. So very slow start. Which is fine. I think, um, actually I haven't watched a ton of videos, but I feel like the hit rate was consistently good. So maybe that means we'll have a exciting finish to the video. Uh, kind of versus like getting all your hits in the beginning. Things is really cool for the rest. That is not a bad Pikachu. All right, followed by the Raichu. Similar art style. Arctivax, a Dunsparce into a Calamitous Wasteland, into a Glamora. All right, we'll just do a couple more packs going through, then maybe we'll just go right to the hit. Uh, they kind of make it simple now as far as like pack trades go, it's just like the second to last card. All right, Fletchling, a Voltorb. Cleo, this guy looks familiar. He was the, uh, like the headmaster of the school or something. 
Quaxel. I feel like the grass one was the weirdest of the starters. We got a bug. Eight palmets. Wow. We've gone a quarter through the box. I feel like hit ratio was like, or hit number hit count was consistently over 10 for like the videos that I watched. And I did I, I started with the cat, but I think this guy's pretty cute. Little elephant. All right, so quick, quick shout out to all the patrons out there. And just a reminder, I am doing another PSA submission. We do got a belly bolt. <laughs> I don't remember this guy. Um, so if you are interested in getting in on that, I do. I am saying try to get the cards to me by end of June. And for um, you know, the bulk submission rate is fifteen dollars. And I'm probably going to do be doing some more packs and maybe some jumbo cards as well. So it's pretty flexible on what you want to submit. All right, let's just go to the back. Uh, since we haven't gotten the alt art yet, which I thought are not too hard to get. Um, nothing on that back. All right, sorry for the quick cut. Had a bit of an emergency to deal with, but yeah, nothing from that pack. We had a Hariyama. Piles are a mess. Uh, in case you didn't know, there's a thing at GameStop going on where it's kind of like a buy two, get one free. I think it applies to all cards. Um, all right, finally got something. Ooh, I, oh, I don't, I forgot about this one because I was looking through the arts. I was like thinking, oh, this is one I want. I'm curious, what is that bird in the background? I thought maybe it was a Moltres, but can't really tell. Oh, but I really like that. That's such a, I don't know, got. I feel like I get Godzilla vibes very much from this card. So very happy with that. Okay, so that's a, it's not a Paldea gallery. Oh, maybe it is P-A-L. <laughs> then we got a Wigglytuff. All right, so let's take a look at this card in the back. This is one that I would grade, although I feel like left to right is very, or not very, but it's not perfect centering. So we're gonna put you in this sleeve for now. Um, but yeah, if I did remember the entire set, that would be definitely one of the ones towards the top of my hit list. So I'm very happy with that. And speaking of T-Tar, um, yeah, if I do think, so GameStop, I feel like if they have them uh, for like pickup, uh, the CZ tins are worth it. Uh, they're on sale for regular price, but then buy two, get one free is pretty good basically $50 for 15 packs and then the the T-Tar and Polion tins do have so far all the ones I opened have two and then one of the T-Tar tins had three evolving skies so definitely I think that one is definitely worth considering came out to like $50 before tax um, and you get six seven of those packs so check it out I think um, a slow king I do like the special like kind of like I'm not sure are they shiny I think they are shiny uh, like the the gold EX cards I think that's a they just pop like the scarlet violet I think is what's the Arcanine one I think looks really good I think oh this set has the Gyarados and magic card I definitely want those cards more so the magic card I think And I think on, on GameStop, on their website, they have they do have like Charizard UPCs, but you can only order one. That would have been great to pick up a, a three for the price of two. And um, none of these stores near me had that in stock, so I couldn't like use that for, or definitely didn't have three of them in stock. But yeah, definitely check it out. Again, I think the um, V Striker tins, that's such a weird product, are worth considering because they should have evolving skies inside all right sableye all right we're about halfway through i feel like we are very much under the average uh and i'm very happy with the t-tar no secret rares no crazy alt arts yet no no uh, big starter hits either what are you silver rouge oh is that the rouge knight guy oh that looks cool doesn't even look like a pokemon so yeah, let me know what you are most excited for in this set. Ah, I think this card I really want. 
now that we have the TTAR out of the way. Okay, we have a Ting Lu EX. So not the Chin Pao. Got a different one. What am I even looking at? Looks like some kind of... Oh, is this one of the... um? What the... <laughs> wow, that's a pack right there. Uh, those future Pokemon. Oh, this guy looks really cool. I... This, they're back to like the full arts. It just it just pops. This is a secret rare, uh, 233 out of 193 with two stars next to it. I don't know what the definition of secret rare anymore is. Oh, they're both secret rare. So very nice. Let's take a look, because this is something I would grade. All right, let's put this in a penny sleeve. Actually, I'm running low on them. Oh my, that was, <laughs> that was a pack and a half. And I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. It looks like some kind of bear with a metal ball on top of his head. Half a metal ball. Both look quite nice. All right, let's get a few more of those packs and we'll be on our way. All right, so a couple of secret rares. Check. Two in one pack. That's crazy. A gold card. A really nice looking full art. Wait, what am I doing? What is left? Some nice alt art and a full art supporter. We got a Noivern EX. Uh, not, not a big, not a Pokemon I'm a huge fan of, but uh, I do like things. Pretty cool. What are these like green things? Looks like some kind of like using some kind of Keyblast <laughs> attack or something. And I feel like I'm, I'm into this shift back to EXs where like it's not full art by any means but the parts of the picture extend past the normal boundaries uh, i feel like it's a nice mix of different variants at the moment and obviously alt arts are still going strong okay there's the chien pao those uh bangs they just look weird so apparently we want the alt art version of you but let's get a um let's get a supporter i think there's a boss's orders which at this point there's like so many versions of him oh so many versions of that card and yeah i'm not even well i think it's like guess this guy i can't say i decided to get for a version of him but uh I, I like having cards that are useful i feel like it always adds value gyarados looking for him and alt art and another jump plus all right we are well into the second half of the box uh, all right, I think uh, definitely has rebounded. Hopefully there is a few more big hits. We got some kind of alt art. Oh, is this like the whooper kind of card? Yes, it is. The Paldean whooper. <laughs> sometimes there's not much, not much art to show, but sometimes it does work. This one, it's not the best kind of that card. Um, I think there are better examples where the Pokemon takes up actually very little of the card real estate. I feel like there was some in Crown Zenith, but I'm failing to recall the exact Pokemon. Right. Wait, was that just, I was about to say, we don't have any starters, but I think we, that was, the full art card was a starter. All right, Primeape, Hydrogen, into a Slate King, which a pretty good Slate King art. I think. Is there anything else to mention along that GameStop sale? I don't think it'll last much longer. I think I've also picked up some of the, what was it? Lost Origin, I think. Ooh, b, &B Stadiums. Uh, but I don't think it was too crazy of a deal. I don't even think I really opened much Lost Origin. I don't even remember what's, what's in there. Tropius into whoa Gruffify to a Garg. I don't remember like Gargan, but NACL. So it's like the salt Pokemon. Very cute. Rockruff's always cute. Alright, the Mastiff to Little Cat to a Luxray. Yeah, GameStop has been having some good sales. I think they had an like, insane Silver Tempest sale. It was like $20 or something. 
for the BNB Stadium. And yeah, we got some more. Uh, I feel like there is some cool stuff going on in the hobby. The I'm not sure if it's like, all right, well, it, it just came out, so maybe the price is artificially high, but the Nagaba Evolution promos. I'm not sure if I want to get them. Like the Pikachu one was just okay. And I feel like it hasn't done much since, but so maybe the Evolutions uh, might. And ooh, that is a, so like, yeah, this is just a regular EX. So, you know, nothing nothing crazy, but just that, that art just really pops. I'm curious, I do not know if there is a different variant, like an alt art or full art. But um, I feel like that one, this this one has some potential. Just, yeah. yeah, that has a good. Um, gives very like, you know, big bad wolf vibes. But yeah, then who knows what's gonna? Or I'm curious to see what happens with this 151 set in Japan. Serulude, Seruledge into a spirit tomb all right getting to the tail end we have a decent stack of hits i'm presuming we're about about that at that 10 mark all right old torb into fighting all all late <laughs> okay all right let's try it um let's see patrick so it should be what four cards and then we can just go right to the hit or the reverses Oh, this guy's so cute. Into a jump bluff. Handful of packs left. So I feel like in the middle, like we really went nuts with that, really that just single pack that um, I feel like really caught us up. Ooh, so okay, so there's a water version of Tauros and a fire version. That's pretty cool. That weird worm. That worm was like in the desert or something. Like a big version of it. All right, guys, as always, you do want to support the channel. Just simply like, comment, and subscribe as always. Ooh, okay, we got the hammer Pokemon, Tinkerton. And I'm presuming this is an alt art. It's not bad, but I feel like not something, nothing crazy. It is slightly textured, which is always cool. A low kicks. <coughs> and grab a sleeve for you. Take a look at the center. Whoa. <laughs> I wonder if that would be even considered OC. I'll put you in a sleeve where we can take a look at that later. See if it's worth considering going for an OC, although I kinda doubt it. Alright, was it three packs remaining? There's a lot of these calamities. Ooh, okay. I do want maybe this is like a singles kind of thing. The alt art of all the starters. I'm trying to think like as far as all the different starters go like where these guys would rate and if they would rate among one of the more popular ones I think these cards have potential although at the same time like it's very early in the Scarlet environment kind of like um, era so maybe there's going to be more souped up versions of them in you know in the next whatever amount of years so Maybe it's not the, to put too many eggs into that basket. All right, two packs remaining. Let's get one more textured card. A Wingle to start, Corvus Squire. So it seems like the second reverse is where you get a alt art. And final pack. And um, yeah, still not, still not completely sold on the set, but this was enjoyable to open. A nice reverse Pikachu into a Squawkabilly. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a weird name. And that will do it for this opening. Let's just do a quick recap. Let me see for you. Actually, let's just grab one. But yeah, I do... I'm, no, I'm not used to the silver borders, but I do like the... Kind of like the regular EX variants. I think the art still does a little bit to pop, where uh, I feel like the GX or you know all the other stuff was getting kind of stale. And all right, we do got the Quaxley 
with art. A nice lichen rock. Cute little whooper. Little bear, a dragon. Slow King, and this is that one pack that we had that went crazy. Tinglu EX into a Skeledurge. And then, ah, oh, this might be my favorite pull. Unfortunately, the centering is not great. And then a couple more hits right there. Let's just do a quick count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so we did <laughs> well into that over ten, what seems to be the hit rate. So very happy with that opening. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.